This video reviews the structure groups that are automatically generated after completing step A of the steel bridge module and shows how to modify these structure groups when modifications are required before proceeding to the remaining steps of the module. In the steel bridge module, after completing step A to generate a new model, model geometry is generated. Along with this geometry, Several structure groups are also created at this same time. These structure groups are important when proceeding to later tasks in the module, as the module uses detection algorithms that interact with the structure groups in order to detect the model's geometry. Here we can see the structure groups that have been automatically created. To ensure the detection algorithm can recognize the model's geometry, the structure groups that are automatically created should be preserved within the model. Because the detection algorithm interacts with the structure groups while performing load generation, code check, and load rating, removing existing elements and structure groups from the model will create discontinuity, preventing the steel bridge module from detecting the geometry. Girder structure groups consist of geometric elements that the girders are composed of. For example, the girder web is modeled with plates and flanges as members in this model. This group also includes the rigid members which connect the girders to the deck plates above. As we can see, some structure groups will also be repeated under the bridge module groups folder. These include girders, bearing groups, and separate structure groups for each individual cross frame and deck group within this folder. The structure groups under this folder are critical to the module's code check and load rating procedure. The bearing groups and cross frame structure groups that start with an underscore in the steel bridge module are used in the search with an unbraced length function. This function is used in the steel bridge module's code check and load rating to properly extract the maximum flange stresses and member bending moments from within the unbraced length. If the user chooses to use the values directly taken from the code check locations, these groups are not needed and can be deleted. Also, when modifying structure groups in models that will be used to perform code check and load rating, we do not need to create these structure groups if we choose to skip this function. After a model has been generated, it's also important that the number of girders and order of girder numbering remains unchanged. For compliance with the module, the smallest girder number should always be at the bottom when looking at the model from the top XY plane view. If staged construction will be performed, the user does not have to use the module's auto-generated groups when setting up construction stages. This won't create any conflicts, as the module directly maps the result case and girder structure groups when performing code check or load rating. If there are manual modifications in model geometry after completing step A, for example, if extra plate elements are added to the deck, these elements must be included in all of the deck structure groups before proceeding to the other steps of the module. To conclude this video, we'd also like to show how structure groups can be added to manual models that don't originate from the steel bridge module. To do this, we manually create structure groups using the same format as those that are automatically generated by the module. Here we can see a simple structure group being added to a Larsa 4D model using the same naming convention as used by the steel bridge module. Now that we've ensured the structure groups can interact with the module's model detection algorithms, we can open the steel bridge module from Larsa's design menu and continue directly with the remaining steps of the module. We hope you found this video helpful, and we welcome you to contact us if we can provide further information or assist your project needs.